Hey guys, welcome to I Am Pinky and I'm Not Ashamed. So I've had a lot of people messaging me through YouTube and Facebook um, because I'm Australian and they're making sure that I'm okay because of all the fires that are in Australia. So I just want to let everyone know that yeah, I'm perfectly fine. I'm actually a few hours away from the bushfires. But the town that's like three hours away have um, had all their electricity turned off and um, people in the surrounding areas have been told to stay put. Anyone that didn't evacuate in certain areas have already been told it's too late. So there are definitely people uh, battening down the hatch as they say and there are a lot of people in trouble. Um, obviously all the fires in New South Wales and stuff like that which are completely different states away from me so those fires are like yeah, 12, 14, 16, 20 hours away. Um, but I'm in South oh, Australia, though I'm not affected myself. I know people in Port Lincoln, so I'm very, very like, concerned. Obviously, as a nation, we are concerned about each other. Um, lots of firefighting appeals going on. People are getting together clothes. All, all those sorts of things, trying to make sure that people who are in the fires um, are do it like, or who have, people who have left their houses and had to evacuate. Um, to make sure that they've got enough stuff, food, all that sort of stuff. Obviously there are a lot of people in Australia that are affected and are going through some really hard times. So as a nation, yeah, we're very sad and um, all our hearts bleed for those that are really, really, really affected. But as I said, I'm quite lucky where I am. Um, the biggest warning we've had recently is our shower, uh, shower, our power might get shut down. Um, just to stop the chance of things overheating and fuel, uh, fires being ignited. Uh, a few hours ago though, uh, my daughter and her husband were um, driving along and actually did see a tree had been um, set on fire or ignited, we don't know. Anyway, so that did have to get put out. So it's quite scary because the weather is hot and everything in Australia is dry. So. For those who have messaged me to uh, make sure I'm okay, thank you so much. Your support is amazing. Knowing other countries are uh, thinking about Australia while we're going through this is absolutely amazing. Your thoughts, prayers and all that are very appreciated. Um, but I'm feeling very lucky that I'm not close to the fires at the moment, but also do not like how close I am to the fires. But yes. So just wanted to let everyone know who has messaged me that yes, I'm okay, um, but your thoughts and prayers are very needed for people that are, ha are getting affected by the fires. Uh, we appreciate um, all your concerns. The biggest problem at the moment with the fires, of course, is how hot and dry we are. So I was hoping by taping this outside that people would actually get a bit of an idea. You can see that the sky is full of dust and we're going through a heat wave. So all those sorts of things are really obviously um, catastrophic when it comes to fires. Also another major concern in Australia is our wildlife. Um, just on Facebook today uh, there was a lady um, saving a koala from um, the fire and stuff so as Australians we love our wildlife so that's been a bit of a heartbreak knowing that so many animals of course are dying. Um, a lady in Queensland a few weeks ago during the fires um, lost her pet so people are finding um, the animal loss of course very traumatic as well. And yes even worse of course uh, we've had um, people dying already. Uh, for the amount of fires, I feel like we're pretty lucky um, that we haven't had more deaths um, because some people, it, you just don't always get enough warning and like I said, at the, uh, when I went to work today, there was a warning on the radio um, telling certain people that it was too late to evacuate and they literally just had to find a building, solid building and that sort of thing. And, they'd already lost their chance to evacuate. So it's not always easy for people to evacuate, they're all not always given enough warning. And so of course the loss of life is very scary and sad for everybody at the moment. Again, um, I just want to thank everyone who has messaged me personally for their concern. Uh, like I said, I'm feeling very, very lucky that the fires are not affecting me in the same way as it is the rest of Australia. But we definitely all appreciate your thoughts and prayers and uh, 
yeah, keep those going, guys, because, yeah, um, the trauma is real for a lot of people.